Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and I am at my parents' house for the weekend, and I brought everything that I needed, all of my equipment and everything, and of course, I forgot my camera. The one thing I really needed. So this is the Galaxy S6 that I am filming on in 60 frames per second. What I've got here is a little beauty. This is the Sony RX100 Mark IV. Now I've had a large particular interest in the RX100 series and I never got one. So I have one here. I have to thank B&H Photo for sending this out to me to look at. What I'm really curious about this for is in terms of a small vlogging camera, I really like the picture capabilities and just how small this is, plus it's got 4K. We've got a little point and shoot here that's just got so many features. It's a lot of documentation. I just want to take it out of the box. What I'm going to be doing with this is using this as a camera to film myself when I get back. I kind of want to use this and try using it as a main camera, see how it does. So just in case if I needed to really go out somewhere and I didn't want to bring my camera with me, I can have a really small pocketable little camera to use. So I think that that is going to be really interesting to see how this performs as a main camera. I also think that this would make a really excellent B-roll camera. So let's see what else is in that box. So we've got our adapter here for charging. And we've also got a lanyard so we don't drop it on the floor. Here we have a micro USB cable. This is for charging. Here we have the battery. Whoop. My dog is making an appearance. Brizzer, go away! So this is a 1240 milliamp hour battery. And what are these? Are these for the lanyard hole? So anyhow, here is the camera. Let's go ahead and take it out. Now I've got very small hands. I know I repeat this all the time. You all know this by now. But look at this thing. It's so cute. So this is what this looks like in my pocket. For lady jeans, this just is not working out too well. It's still very nice and compact. Now it looks just like the Mark III that came before it. Just very, very subtle differences. Let's go ahead and get this in here. Come on. And lock it in place. Now what intrigues me particularly about this RX series here is that you are able to flip this upward. So as a selfie type of a camera, I can see myself. I think that that's just great. You can see we have a couple points of articulation here. It's really very handy, very useful. Sadly, on this cool little camera, there is no microphone port and there is no headphone port either, so I won't be able to hook up any external microphones to this thing. I hope that the audio from just straight off this camera is good enough. So here we have my rig. <laughs> this is what I am using currently so that I can try to film this video. I had to get kind of inventive. This is usually my boom stand for my microphone. Yeah, it works. It works. It works all right, but uh, here we go. This is the 1080p 60 frames per second video. Let's see how fast that focuses in and out. Hi! Your life is just so hard, isn't it, Bruiser? So I've been showing you guys my cat that I will be getting, so I figured you should meet my dog. This is Bruiser, and he kind of looks like my cat. Say hello! Yeah, he's not very nice. He bit to the guy who was installing the Wi-Fi, chewed on his pant leg, wouldn't let him go. I can't say that this is the most favorable of breeds. And also, even though this records 4K video, you can only do it for five minutes at a time. And from what I'm hearing, some people say that it overheats after that five minutes. And so if you want to record another 4K clip, it takes it a while to cool down. You can do 4K with this. I would say more for B-roll type stuff, but this is not going to be a full out 4K camera. Again, I'm curious to test it out and to use it and to see what I can get away with. Where did the sun go? Oh well, what's really great about this camera is that it's got a fast shooting mode. It's telling me I've got the wrong memory card. Unfortunately, I will go out and buy one. 
So 960 frames per second for two seconds. You can create nice slow motion videos with that. So give me some time. I'm really going to use this and I'm going to check it out, play with it. Use this as my main camera, at least try to see what that experience is like. Here we've got this little dial. We've got several modes, high frame rate mode. This is the panorama mode. This is your scene selection mode. We've got our auto mode, program auto. We've got aperture priority, shutter priority, manual exposure, all those good, great things, memory recall. And we've got our movie mode. Press this to record movie or menu button display. Got this little wheel here for selecting. We can play from the display. So the lens on this thing is 1.8 to 2.8 aperture, 24 to 70 millimeter equivalent. Got a little place for our tripod here on the bottom. You've got our multi-port, HDMI port, also Wi-Fi, so that's really nice. If I can connect to Wi-Fi, I can upload photos on the go. You've got this rotating lens ring here. We've got our zoom in and out. We've got our flash. We've also got our electronic viewfinder. Yeah, so I really can't wait to go out and start testing this baby out, see what it can do, how I feel about using this as a main on the go camera, and even just how it works in my reviewing process. So hang tight. This has been Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for the shoddy type of video quality. I'm at my parental unit's place. And of course I forgot my camera, but I did my best. And if anything, this should make for an interesting video to show the quality of the Galaxy S6, if you care. So thank you and goodbye.